Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this consultation series. We're gonna give you all kinds of tips and tricks for effectively and properly lighting up your home. If you wanna get your free consultation, just shoot me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca. Send me a few pictures and we'll give you a video presentation of what lights are gonna work best with your property or go and visit us at lightingdoctor.ca or go check out all our videos on YouTube. Um, I'm obviously I'm not mounting this one right here, but anytime you're gonna mount this you want to just mount it close to um, a GFCI receptacle somewhere that you can plug it in and all that does is it converts that 110 volt power that comes out of the house down to 12 or 15 volt that is gonna go to your system uh, and that's what makes it low voltage and that's what makes it safe to handle and I always get asked well how deep do I need to bury the wires do they need to be uh, to code, do they need to be 12 inches, 24 inches? Um, and because it's low voltage, really they only got to be deep enough that you're not going to be digging them up. Um, if a dog bit into him and chewed on your wire, he's barely even going to feel anything. So um, there is really no regulations any in our area anyway as to how deep you have to bury those because that wire does get converted into very safe 12 volt uh, as it is in the ground. So how we select our transformer is based on on wattage. So for example, this is a 150 watt transformer uh, from FX Luminaire. And the way we've determined this one is pretty simple. We have approximately 30 lights on this property and each of those lights averages just over four watts. So 30 times four is 120. So we're only using 120 watts or only require 120 watts for this project. Um, but you always wanna size your transformer approximately 20% higher uh, just to uh, just to cure any inefficiencies or anything like that and give a little bit of extra room also if you ever want to add on down the road. So a 150 watt transformer will easily handle our, uh, our load of lights. And the other reason I like this one too is this actually has a 15 volt tap here. So if you watch a lot of old videos on YouTube about landscape lighting, they talk a lot about voltage drop. Uh, that's because most of those landscapers uh, and, and those designers are using halogen fixtures. If you're getting a quote for a system and somebody's still quoting you on a halogen fixture, I would run for the hills because they're really just trying to sell you a cheaper system. It doesn't make any sense nowadays uh, with LED. And the reason that we can run 30 lights on one transformer is because LED uses so much less power. You might save money on the fixtures by going the halogen route, but then you're gonna have to get a massive transformer to run that. And you gotta be really careful on how you run the wire and voltage drop and all those types of things. What I'm telling you is that if you choose a transformer like this that has a 15 volt tap, you can run 20 to 30 lights off of this transformer upwards of 300 plus feet of wire out without ever having to worry about enough voltage drop because a good quality fixture is gonna run even if it only gets nine volts on it. A crappy quality fixture is not going to, but if you get a good one, they're all designed to run between nine and 10 volts, which means you can lose a lot of power along the way and that light is still gonna run properly. So another reason why you don't wanna skimp on a fixture because it is gonna cause you more problems down the road. Uh, and then to run this, there's a couple ways you can do that. The way I like is just by adding something called an astronomic timer that basically uses uh, uh, sunrise and sunset to program everything and turn your lights on and off. Or the other option is to make this go Wi-Fi by using our Weon Wi-Fi transformer, uh, which you can easily uh, make this a Wi-Fi transformer. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.